Hello, hello, hi, hello, how are you all? Welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. Kitchenettes, Kitchen Littles, and Kitchen Nuggets. Cheers. I hope that you are all doing well. Okay, I might have started early. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I can't even pretend like I didn't start early. I don't think this uh, show actually allows that. Me to lie. Actually, I don't allow it. I totally started early. How are you all doing this lovely evening? I'm so happy to be back in this kitchen. Thank you for showing up for Nicole. You guys did amazing. Um, the, uh, when I checked this morning, yesterday, okay, maybe last night. I, I might have checked last night. So on Facebook, we got 100 views, so that was awesome. I appreciate you all getting me up to over 400 people that have followed me on Facebook as well. That is fantastic also. So tonight we're going to do a creamy sausage kale gnocchi. I had to think about that because it's it's a lot of words. There's there's a lot of words. Hello, Sue. So I got this screaming ass deal, you guys, $1.98, $1.98 for uh, some sage sausage. Um, I actually looked up, I've never made this before, first of all, never made it before. I looked up several different recipes from several different websites, so I'm just winging it at this point because y'all know I don't do really recipes, and yeah, I'm just winging it at this point. But a lot of them were like, do the Italian sausage, do this sausage, do that sausage, and then add sage, and I'm like... I know there's a sage sausage out there. You can't fool me. So I actually ended up buying two of them because this is also delicious for biscuits and gravy. If you're a fan of sage, the sage flavor, because it can be overpowering. Um, this, the, the, the several recipes that I actually referenced called for some oil in here, but if you cook with sausage, you know that it's already pretty greasy. Anytime you use a pork product, there's there's typically a lot of grease in there. So I'm like, yeah, we're not going to add additional oil to that. We're not doing it. Not doing it. So I'm just not doing it. That's that's where we're at right now. Not doing it. All right. Okay. Throw that over to the side. And then I'm going to have to wash my hands. So you all are going to have to be patient with me because I'm making a big damn mess. So I have like a one pound little chub, I think it's a one pound, little chub of sage sausage. So Zeno and I went to Wild Man last night in downtown Olympia, right next to McCoy's. If you are from this area, you probably know McCoy's. Um, it's actually in between the blocks of the China Clipper, aka the Crippler, and McCoy's. It's literally in the same block so it was fun because it was jazz night and i had asked Zane, i know he he really wants to listen to some live music but my boy just doesn't do really well with a bunch of people and so i thought okay well let's do this jazz night because that would be really fun and he loves live music he he loves classical music he loves would it be retro music? I don't, he's a huge fan, you guys. My 16 year old kid, huge, 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 huge fan of Frank Sinatra. So I'm like, okay, what can I do? What can I do? Let me, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna still talk though. Um, what can I do to get this kid engaged in something other than an Xbox, right? So I'm like, oh. Thank you, Wild Man, for having this amazing lineup of stuff this month where I can take my kid because he he totally... Oh, thank you, Sue. I appreciate that. It's good to be back. And thanks to Nicole, side note. Thanks to Nicole for showing up for me on Monday and just, just bringing some good stuff. Um, so my kid is, you know, he, I just thought... Look, Let's do this. Let's like do something fun that that is out of his norm. And you know, we stayed there for an hour. It was a great hour. I wish we would have stayed there a little bit longer, but it was okay. I was kind of leaving it up to him. 
and you know sometimes being a teenager is rough right right guys like being a teenager is rough and we stayed for an hour we had some dinner and he was like eh burger was good not anything great but it's not the worst I've ever had and I'm like you literally eat a bun with a patty and some cheese it had to have been better than yeah, yeah, but it is what it is. That's that's how we rolled with it last time. So yeah, it was a good time, and I was grateful to Miss Emily for being so patient. And it was kind of funny because she she I've been down there a few times. Sue, that's where I took you when we went downtown when you bought your steaks. That's where I took you. Um. And Miss Emily behind the, the bar, she says, well, your your special order burger can't be any different than Eric's, <laughs> which was fantastic. But yeah, anyways, it was a good time. We had a good night, and I do love listening to live music. I love listening to live music of all types, and even that jazz, like it, it just was so soothing. It was a great place. It was a great place. It is a great place. I just, I, I hope that they find a good footing. Um, they had something going on in the back room also. And sorry guys, I'm like attentive, but not attentive here. I'm trying to break up some of these big chunks. Um, they have lots of really great things that are going on. And I think Keely is posting stuff that they're doing by the month. So you gotta just kind of look at their their page. Um, they have a Facebook page, and I I don't know. I kind of like the vibe down there. It's just chill and all inclusive, and I'm about that. I I'm about that. If you are not an all inclusive person, it might not be your jam, and that's okay. All right. Okay, some of these little bits got crispy. Okay. Zane's so used to that. He's like crispy. You say crispy, and it really means burnt, mom. Yeah, well, you know, I get sidetracked. Squirrel, get sidetracked. It's the way it works sometimes. Can't wait till you're a, a parent. You're going to get sidetracked too. Just be grateful you got a good dinner in your belly. All right. So we got our sausage all cooked up here. I think we're good. All right. And... The recipes, again, that I referenced, all of them say to dump this out and save blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing any of that. We're going to add some onions just straight to this. We did not add any additional oil. Um, we have about a right around a half a cup of onion. I think it was probably a quarter of an onion. But if you like more, use more. It's fine. It'll be fine. And then I'm throwing them all over my stove, too. And you know what's really funny, you guys, is I really thought, okay, I, I really need to replace my little pots. I actually, hold that thought, I actually bought some and have yet to replace them. Why? Because it's going to be a whole adventure. i got to clean underneath this whole thing, and I'm just not ready for that yet. Just not prepared for it yet. All right, we just want these onion bits in here to get a little bit soft and for our sausage to not get any more crispy. And you also want to be really careful right now with your seasoning. I know I have not broke out my trifecta yet, um, but we have to be really careful because you're, we're, we're using sausage, which is going to be salty. Where is Wheeler? I don't know where Wheeler is. Damn it, Wheeler, are you are you slacking? He might be with his new girl. He might be. He might be. Nicole's like, I want to egg him on. <laughs> um, so you want to be really careful when you're cooking with pork because it's going to be a lot saltier. So you have to, like, lessen that until later. Like, lessen your salt, your salt additions until later because you can always add more, you guys. You just can't take it out. All right, now we've got some garlic. I think I did like three cloves. I had I had a few little fresh cloves up there, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not the one to tell you how much garlic to use. I'm not gonna lie. I I love garlic, so I'm like 
What do you mean one clove? What what what's what's one clove? That that's gonna do Jack Olaf crap. We just don't want it to burn in the pan because then that gives a really weird aftertaste. Ooh, it smells delicious though. Smells delicious. All right. Ooh, damn, that smells good. I wish we had some smell of vision. Can you guys smell the garlic? Smell it. Just kidding. I mean, I wish you could. But. All right, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because I did have it on a medium high. We're gonna go a medium low on my stove. It's like a six. We're gonna do a six. Ooh, that garlic is delicious. All right, we got some chicken broth. And we're gonna add, I don't even know. I don't, again, I referenced a lot of recipes, so I'm just gonna dump some in. And we're just gonna wing it from here. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe a cup-ish, a cup-ish, if you're real particular about it. Okay, oof, now it's not loud anymore. It's nice and calm, like a meditation. It's All right. I also have some delicious uh, Trader Joe's Gorgonzola gnocchi. Okay. Before we went on break, I used the Instant Pot. Remember, Sue, because you were trying to give me tips and tricks? Um, when I posted that on my YouTube, a really funny story is somebody, somebody actually commented on there that I was doing some sort of promo or, and I'm like, no, dude, I just don't know how to use a damn Instant Pot. Okay, I'm not, I'm not promoting it. I'm not getting extra money or any money from any of these damn people. So I don't know what to tell you because like, I'm just, I'm just rolling and wheeling and dealing. And as I open this, I realized that there's actually chunks of gorgonzola in here. So we're going to add this milk, which is like two thirds of a cup to our delicious uh, chicken broth. I'm going to add this bag because it's got already the cheese in it, so that might that might screw me up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize there was actually chunks of chunks of gorgonzola in there. I thought it was actually infused in it because I've never bought this. But you know what? I still can't go wrong with the Trader Joe's brand. There's not been anything that I've been super disappointed in. There's been some things that I'm like, eh, I could take it or leave it but most things from Trader Joe's that I have purchased have been delicious. It's kind of like buying things from Costco. Like, you know you're not going to be disappointed. And if you are, if you are, you can return it. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right. That looks delicious so far, you guys. Delicious. I was checking to make sure that you all could see it. All right, since the cheese is already in here, I don't even know that I need to add my Parmesan, but we're gonna let this do its thing for a minute, and I'm gonna add the kale. So let me tell you a little story about the kale while this is reheating, because I just threw a whole bunch of frozen stuff in there. Let me tell you a little story about the kale, because I know I've covered this, but it's worth repeating. No big deal. So you can buy kale, fresh, fresh leaves of kale. Beautiful, lovely. I like to take my knife and go down the rib in order to get all of those beautiful uh, leaves off of there. You can also purchase this in a bag that's already cut. Now, there are two downsides for me to that. When I purchase them, it is typically a very large bag and I don't go through that much kale, okay? Um, they are really good. It's really good for soups. It's a lot more hearty than spinach, so it doesn't wilt up a ton. Uh, but when I purchase them in a bag, there's like all of the chunks of the stem in there, and those don't tend to cook up very well. So it's totally up to you if you want to buy the leaves and then take your knife just down the rib in order to get all the beautiful leaves off of there. 
do it that way or purchase the bags. Just know that you're going to get a lot of these, this part of that in uh, your bag of kale. So you're literally paying for a stem, which is going to give you maybe like that, maybe like one little leaf, like one little, one little, two little, three little leaves. I don't know. Um, totally up to you though. I did buy a bag a couple of weeks ago. Did not realize that I bought like the gigantic bag and ended up throwing most of it away. So that was very sad for me because I, there's, I, I just, I, I'm not a huge fan of throwing away food. And I did not realize that the bag that I purchased was gigantic. So I cut up a few of those ribs. Um, I know the references in the recipes that I looked at were like six ounces, eight ounces, whatever. I just, I literally have two leaves left and I paid like, I don't know, two bucks, three bucks for it. So it is what it is. I'm just going to toss this in here and we're going to let it do its thing for a while. We're going to just let it do its thing until those leaves get a little bit, they'll get a little bit wilty, but they're not going to get gigantically wilty. And for me, I think Zane feels the same way. He loves fresh spinach. He loves kale. He loves, honestly, my kid loves every green vegetable. I don't think I found one that he's like not a huge fan of. He'll even eat fresh green beans. They just have to be like a certain way. Either fresh, not frozen, or frozen, not fresh. And you know, it's it's a fun game. It's a fun game we play. It's a fun game. I promise you. Just kidding. We're just gonna let it work it work its magic and do its thing. So I'm not going to keep you guys forever and ever and ever. So I'm just going to explain what we're going to do as soon as I get all of this mixed in. And again, I have this at a, a medium low-ish heat. And it's very pretty. Very pretty. I don't like that. All right. And then I'm going to use my fancy lid because this pizza pan never gets used for pizza. It's, it's been a lid for years. But, you know, you just sometimes you have those those things that you just hold on to. You just hold on to them because you use them for a specific reason. I have another lid in my, my little pot holder over here that I only use for my sticky rice basket. I literally have not had the pan in probably 18 years or more. And, uh, yeah, I keep it around for my sticky rice basket. So when this is kind of simmered down a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And then if it looks like it needs more cheese, because now I'm not sure with the whole gorgonzola situation, I'm just going to add some of this uh, poor cheese. It's got Asiago, Fontina, Parmesan, Provolone. I'm just going to, and, and then it's going to get thick and creamy and it's going to be delicious. I just, I just know it. I know it in my heart of hearts. So anyways... Thank you for joining me tonight. Nicole, thank you for hosting us on Monday. That was amazing. Zane was a huge fan of that trifle. And I love being a trifle and bitch with you, girl. Um, we're going to do Suck It Up Saturday this weekend, because why not? Why not? It's We're starting off this new year with us. And uh, yeah, we're going to rock out some Suck It Up Saturday. Not sure what we're going to make, because I know Super Bowl's on Sunday. I'm like, I... I'm not a participant of Super Bowl. I've always been like the cook of Super Bowl. I never actually watched the game. It is what it is. It, it Whatever. It works. So, I don't know. We'll come up with something fun. I've already done Skip and Go Naked, like way back in the day. Um, What else do I have? I do have another special guest coming on Monday. I'm very excited about that. I hope you all in, in, enjoy and join me. Enjoy and join me and my special guest, different special guest, um, on Monday for some Filipino treats that are Zane's, one of Zane's favorites, okay? His favorites are like literally this big. The list is this big. So he'll be excited. I'm very excited. And that's what I have for you tonight. Y'all keep showing up. So do I. Thank you. Thank you. Keep sharing the love. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I love to see those numbers climb. So, 
Thank you again, and I will see you all for Suck It Up Saturday.